right, coming up next, it's a heavyweight matchup between Conor McGregor and Leonardo Santos. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioners in this division, DC, and I know how many chokes you have in your arsenal. Offensive jiu-jitsu, defensive jiu-jitsu doesn't get much better than this guy. It doesn't get as high level in terms of the jiu-jitsu knowledge. He knows in every exchange that he's the guy that's processing things at a different level, from the armbar submissions that he has shown in the octagon to the beautiful guillotine chokes that he does over and over again. And don't think that he won't roll for a knee bar and get a submission. Right. It's just constant danger when you're in the jiu-jitsu with this guy. And even the high-level wrestlers that he's fought have paused to try to take him down because of that patented guillotine. It's so truly a case of pick your poison with this Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. All right, so here he is, DC, the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history, former two-division UFC champion Conor McGregor. And a lot of people thought maybe he wouldn't come back to the proven ground. He's got a lot to prove when it comes to his MMA legacy. And as such, McGregor returns to the octagon here tonight. When you talk about Conor McGregor, you're talking about a star that transcends mixed martial arts. We've seen a lot of people come and go, but no one has ever reached a level of Conor McGregor, and you think he's just a talker. No, there is a ton of substance to everything that he does. From the moment he stepped into the octagon, he said what he was gonna do, and he eventually did it. From knocking guys out left and right to becoming a two-division champion, knocked out Jose Aldo, knocked out Eddie Alvarez, there's just too much to say about the Notorious. And I'm glad you put it that way because he is this larger-than-life character, and I think at times people lose sight of just how skilled a martial artist this is. Elite striker, tremendous distance management, few move better on the feet than Conor McGregor, and he'll look to put those striking skills to good use yet again tonight as Conor McGregor returns here. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height, and a similar reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's what is he first? Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of 19 wins, six losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Leonardo Santos! And now we produce his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland! The notorious Connor McGregor! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to play. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Nice punch there by McGregor. 
McGregor. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, that's a big connection there for McGregor, DC. I mean, big strike landed for Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Boy, time plump. Nice straight punch. Beautiful body kick. Wow, what a head kick. Oh! And they are exchanging leather early. Santos gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Got the single collar side. Oh, and Eve Edwards has been opened up here. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. Just misses there with the left. Oh, nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Conor. And he landed the right hand there. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Big head kick land. Big power punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, and he caught the kick. Wow, huge head kick. And a knee. Body kick is blocked. Back and forth we go. Oh, and that is a pinpoint left hand right there from Greg. It is his best strike. It is because he knows exactly where he needs to be in the octagon to low. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got a opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. All right, single collar tie now. Changes his stance. Big knee lands to the body. Lands a lands his right hand upstairs. 90 seconds to go. Oh, color tie. McGregor gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, is that a good knee to the body there by McGregor? Ooh, head kick lands. Hurt. That one connected. And they separate. He's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Santos. All right, we have now reached the final minute of round one. Battling for hooks. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Santos's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of struggle. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Damn, it was a good night if that landed. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights 
with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Can't take the oh. no better check. He didn't like that left hand. He's got him hurt here. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no sodas. One and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind you. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking time. He got it done with his striking. He caught well behind the jab, but it was significant strikes that really did make an impact on the judges' fight. So Gregor gets hit with a kick. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And they separate. McGregor gets touched by that kick there. And both guys really throwing with authority. Santos, his lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. McGregor gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, single collar tie here. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Connects with the right. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, that's a good strike there by Santos. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. Doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. That one appeared to stun him. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this move. Let's finish this fight. Head kick attempt gets blocked. And he continues to work the body here. That's a big strike right there. Oh! He's done, he's done! What a performance! Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he's landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 18 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, the notorious Connor. There will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out there. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, 
and he did exactly that. Congrats.